flex fuel tables um, that I want to talk about. Um, one is this uh, 1D table right here. Uh, and this is a uh, fuel flow multiplier in percentage. Uh, everybody does this one on uh, the 1D table. So I want to talk about maybe possibly changing this table uh, to a 2D table and could just end up doing it this way. But I don't know if the way that I, I have it set up would work or function or not. So this is more... Um, to try to get some information because uh, I cannot I've done some research and I can't really find anybody who has done um, this table in the 2d table yeah of course um, your fuel flow multiplier table um, so as so as your alcohol content up I'm sorry as your alcohol content goes up um, it it starts uh, adding more uh, pound per hour uh, of fuel flow. So essentially changing your injector pulse width uh, as the alcohol co content goes up. And um, this uh, AE fuel flow multipliers in percentage here. And of course your flex fuels in percentage. And then, then up here would be uh, the amount of um, pound per hour that it's going to add. So the other one was, how do I do this one on a 2D table? And so this is what I came up with this, was we would just, uh, up here in the name, we would just enable the table, and then, uh, of course, flex, uh, flex fuel flow, and then AE fuel flow multiplier, and then, you know, of course, your flex fuel sensor, pin that, and... And then on the y-axis, we would do fuel flow because it's in pound per hour. Uh, because the because the uh, 1D table, let's go back to the 1D table. Um, the one the 1D table up here is in pound per hour, is my assumption, um, is the way that I understand this. If I, you know if 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 I'm not if I, if this is not correct, please please comment in the comments below. Um, and then of course, um, it, it being in a f fuel flow pound per hour. So how I figured this table is, of course, your, you know, of course, right here from zero to a hundred percent ethanol content and then uh, pound per hour. So I took the, 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 the pound per hour, like what? What is the max pound per hour? I don't know if you would do this off of the table or you would want to do this off of your injector flow. So scale, So my thing is scaling this side of the table. Would we do this off of the uh, VE table? Like what is the max um, amount? Let's see. Let's go back over here. Let's go to our VE table. So if we do a conversion, uh, base system fuel flow rate in pound per hour and our our biggest, our the most pound per hour that we have on this table is, um, you know, uh, two seventy five pound per hour. That's that's the most that that this table has. Question uh, to try and ask here would be on this table because instead of having that, you know, stupid one D table, why don't we just use the two D table instead and do it off of the two D table? Uh, cause there's just more, uh, there's just, there's not a straight linear curve here. There's, there's more, uh, cell hits that it can hit here instead of just at that particular time, it just dumps whatever, whatever's in that 1D table. Whereas here it can go in between two cells and be a little bit more accurate, uh, a little bit more precise. So... I guess the thing here is the way I scaled the fuel flow uh, pound per hour table was off of the VE table. So if anybody um, knows how to scale this side right here, if you scale this in your injector uh, pound per hour, like it, like if you had a set of Bosch 210s, would you just do, you know, 210 and then scale it from zero to, you know, uh, 210 pound per hour? Or say if you have 50 pound per hour injectors, would you do it that way? Or would you scale it off of the VE table? 
so the way that that I that I set this table up was that the uh, the amount that it's going to be adding so at a hundred percent it's going to be adding you know thirty eight percent more fuel flow and then of course it just goes down so I did the same thing with this table I just interpolated it um, so I just started off from zero and I did let's go ahead and so we'll, we'll take this we'll take this out we'll zero everything out uh, let's see enter so all I did was um, of course you know 30 30 percent more fuel flow enter and then we I would I just scaled you know of course the alcohol content as alcohol content goes up we want that to start happening so again we can change this to match the other one which was eight and then rescale this so just rescale the row values if it's going to fill the row values there and it did uh, so we just go up here and if you look at the 1d table it starts off at 0.7 so what we could do is just I gotta go back over where are you we can just start at the um, we could just start at 0.7 here so 0.7 more fuel flow and then enter and then we would just interpolate the whole table that way um, fill row values and then there it is so it comes up with this table here but the problem is 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 this correct um, like I said will we do it off of the VE numbers uh, because when you do the conversion on your VE table, it converts it in pound per hour. So, you know, base system, fuel flow rate in pound per hour. So we do it like this. So if anybody has any input on, um, you know, or if they've set their table, 2D tables up like this for flex fuel, uh, please comment in, in, the, in the comments below. Um, really would appreciate some info on on this uh, just want to find out if this if anybody's done it like this in the 2d table everybody usually does it in the 1d table uh, as far as the fuel flow uh, multiplier table goes the AFR multiplier table uh, I've only seen it done a couple of different ways um, so if you can comment uh, below um, Again, this is Dave from DE performance coming to you from the office. I really appreciate everybody stopping by if you can uh, subscribe and like, uh, and, you know, comment, and then looking for comments on this.